The new vessels are to replace 662-meter Victory-class missile corvettes. However, the ships on order will be larger and more capable than the corvettes. The MRCVs will serve as the first mothership of its type for unmanned systems in addition to being formidable combatants. Unmanned drones mounted on the MRCV will increase the area under its jurisdiction, thereby acting as a force multiplier for the Navy fleet. In order to give the MRCVs the flexibility and capacity to manage a variety of scenarios, the RSN is developing a modular platform. From airborne to surface to underwater vehicles, unmanned systems can be used. Modular systems and ships will be designed by RSN instead of platforms that are tailored to a particular type. The Defense Science and Technology Agency, the overall program manager and systems integrator, will supervise the building of the new vessels. The ships will be modeled after Denmark's Odense Maritime Technologies, Iver Hutfeldt, and Absalon frigate designs. Danish designs measure about 137 meters, 449 feet long, with a 19 meter, 62 foot beam, weighs about 8,000 tons. It is probably equipped with surface to air missiles from MBDA, such as the VL Mica and Aster and Thales Sea Fire radar. As per standard Navy requirements, the multi-role combat vessels will also have a high degree of automation to lower the number of crew members on board. New capabilities and innovations can be easily and rapidly introduced into the MRCV for future and existing threats. What do you think of Singapore's new MRCV? Write your comment below. If you want to watch videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. This ends our video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.